Hey, what is up you guys? This is your girl Bear coming back to you with another video and today you guys I will be showing you how I did my sewing. Now this is the same lavy hair that I've been using over and over because I hate buying new hair. I'm very cheap if you guys haven't noticed. So I got bored and tired of always putting a wig on every day so I decided to go ahead and just do a sewing. So all of this is completely sewn in and also the frontal is, is sewn in too. But I left my hair out around the perimeter because if you know, once you sew in a frontal and you have no hair left out, after a few weeks or so, your frontal will start to slip and fall back. So I said I'll just have my leave out out so it's not a big deal. I can just twist it up once it starts flip, um, sliding a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I'll get into all the details later. But this is just a tutorial on how you do a, a sewing, full or not full sewing, but a sewing with a lace frontal and also minimum leave out at the front. Also, I can put this in a bun. I won't show you right now um, because I only sewed in three bundles. I didn't get the fourth bundle, but right now I have the the fourth bundle just bobby pinned in at the bottom, and that's just to make it look fuller. Um, in order to put it in a bun, I couldn't really do it with four bundles, so I did three. That way I can put it in a bun when I want to. So yeah, you guys, <laughs> make sure you guys, I'm tired, sorry I'm rambling you guys, but I'm trying to get out everything that I have on top of my head. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay tuned if you want to know how to do a sewing with minimum leave out and also a lace frontal. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you after the video. Okay, so as you can see, this is just my leave out that I have already braided down. And that's just my hair. Don't worry. Yes, my hair is dirty. I just washed it last week and I didn't want to wash it again. So yeah, you can wash your hair usually in deep condition and stuff before you start your sewing. So after already braiding down your hair, I just braided it down in a circular pattern and did like kind of a middle part so that the lace won't um, see through. You just want to set your lace frontal to see exactly where you want to have it lay down. Now next what I like to do is just to bobby pin one side of the lace frontal down. This makes it easier so that you can pull the lace frontal very taut and you're able to sew down the opposite side of your lace frontal. Now because I have leave out it doesn't really matter, it doesn't make a big deal. But say you were going to have no hair out, that makes a very big difference because you really want your lace frontal to lay very tight and very fitting to your head so that way you can't see the line of demarcation. And then I just begin to sew the other side of the lace frontal that is not bobby pinned down and you just make sure you pull and sew. Now once you've completed sewing one side down, I'm just going to remove my bobby pins and repeat the same process on the other side. I'm just going to pull my lace frontal down very tight just to make sure that it's nice and secure and laying pretty flat. And then I'm just going to sew down the other tab side of the lace frontal. I'm not going to sew down the front or the back yet, just the tabs that you sew down. I'm showing you guys see where the braid is and where that lace frontal the end of the back of it is I'm just going to sew that down which I unfortunately did not get a clip of doing but it's just the same process just sewing down the back now what I'm going to show you guys is how I sewed the front um, it really doesn't matter since I'm going to be having leave out with this lace frontal but if you weren't going to have leave out this is how you would sew it so in order to uh, make sure that when you part your lace frontal none of the um, string shows when you sew, you just want to make sure that you go through and then when you go through and replace the sewing, you want to make sure you kind of get it in the general same area as where you pulled it out. That way you don't see the string. Also guys, I just want you guys to keep in mind, I am doing this all off of feeling. I have a mirror in front of me, but I absolutely cannot see anything that would be going on behind me. So yeah, it was kind of very difficult for me to film this video, but yeah, all of this basically is all fulfilling. When I do do braids and sewings for other people, it is way neater than what I am doing. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to take out my leave out and I'm just going to put some gel on it just so I can blend my hair with my um, 
frontal and I just use a tube brush to kind of smooth my edges and then I am just going to do a flat twist. This is just to keep the hair out of the way and also by the end of this uh, sew-in it should be able to blend. I also just tie the hair up in the lace frontal, pin it away so I can start sewing in my bundles. Now these are the bundles. Like I said, I did not sew in all four bundles. I could only get three in my head only because I want to be able to pull this up into a sew-in. So yeah, you guys, that fourth bundle, I just have it to bobby pin in. Now what I'm showing you guys is this is hair from another bundle. I wanted something kind of loose for the um, hair around the perimeter. This is just one track that I'm going to sew in. This is going to give me that illusion of like baby hairs around the perimeter when I put it in a bun. So just measure it and have it across to where you want it to be. Make sure you cut it and then you're just going to sew that in. Generally, generally gosh, you want this uh, track to be shorter than your bundles because this is going to be like the baby hairs around your hair. You know how you put your hair in a bun and you have hair that's still left out? That's what that's going to do. So after you sew that down, you're gonna start with your first bundle. And with this one, I just went ahead and doubled my tracks and you just sew it in. The bobby pin I have is just to hold my place so it's easier for me to start sewing in my bundle. Okay, now really guys, there is no method to my madness. All I'm doing is just sewing down the tracks and every two or three after I sew it in, I like to double, like double the knot and that's pretty much it. It's the same thing on how even I make my wigs and I just go back and forth and back and forth until it joins at the top with my uh, lace frontal. Now, like I said, you guys, this is all off of feeling. Um, I don't have a mirror behind me in order to see what I'm doing. I just like to have a mirror in front of me to concentrate. But yeah, so you guys know, uh, make sure if you're doing the sewing yourself, just use a bobby pin when you're first trying to start out a track in order to hold it up so you can start the track. And once you get it started, you can take the bobby pin out and then it makes it a lot easier, trust me. And I'm sorry you guys, the closer I got to the top, I didn't realize that you guys wouldn't be able to see it. So that is kind of a struggle. Now what I'm going to be showing you guys is I was running out of uh, hair because I only used three bundles. So I was going to sew some towards the front. That way I made sure I had the front covered and then I will sew some at the back. So you'll see further down what I mean by that. Now see on this end how it's one, I had the tracks doubled, so see how it's all one? What I'm going to do instead of sewing it as it's doubled, I'm going to split that and do one track below and one track in the front. Now you do not have to worry about this if you are using enough hair, it's just the fact that I ran out of hair. So I had to find a way to make sure to make it work and this was the best way to make it work. So I do one track in the front and then one track in the back. That way, if I don't have enough hair to cover the, my entire head, you won't be able to see it because you'll have the hair from the front covering the pieces that's in the middle. In my soul, this is real. Is now, I didn't get the rest of it shown on the uh, video, but like I said, I just continued sewing until I was done with the entire frontal. And that was pretty much it, you guys. It's the easiest thing to do, especially when you have a frontal, because you don't have to worry about sewing the front of your hair. So, yeah, guys. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Once again, I have the I only have three bundles actually sewn in in the frontal, but I have the fourth bundle sort of pinned in underneath with just bobby pins just to make it fuller and give it more volume. When I wear it in a bun, which you can put this in a bun, and I don't have any hair left out in the back, 
um, when I wear it in a bun I just take out the fourth bundle and I just put it all in a bun that way it's not too big and it's also not too heavy on my head I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you have any questions you can always leave them in the comments don't forget you guys I, I get tired of getting questions <laughs> but all the information will always be in the description box unless of course like a link or something is broken but um it will be in the description box so hair um hair products i use makeup products i use anything like that will always be in the description box unless i have no clue myself what i use so i hope you guys enjoyed the video today um like i said like comment subscribe share comments down if you need anything and that's it so I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good day, y'all.